Okay, we'll start over here. It's like an underwater windmill. A sea windmill? Yo, you guys know just the right things to say. Um, okay, so if I want to set up some... Scrubbing of the toxins right over here. There you go. That would do the trick. So these are the same things we just played with, just slightly different. Okay, yeah, so I definitely have to be a little careful with how I do this. Uh, I think about over here. I don't want to overlap too much. Okay, one more. Right over there. Okay, and we're gonna have to do these as well. Yeah, somewhere over here. I think that's a decent enough spot. Still have quite a bit of cash still remaining, so it should be okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have filled in this far though. I definitely did feel went kind of far. Guys, I watched, um, or I finished watching everything, everywhere, all at once yesterday. If you haven't seen that movie, I do recommend it. Although it is a little funky, not gonna lie. I did watch it all, yes. Yeah, very fun movie. Very strange though, like a lot of... Um, a lot of confusing parts. Yeah, yeah, I saw it one big with some sort of, yeah, movie award thing. I don't remember which, which award, but... <clears throat> You're not really a movie person. That's okay. I don't really watch that many movies, although I do really enjoy watching them, but I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so I wish I didn't fill this all the way in here. The Oscars loco? Oh, okay. I don't know. I know Twitch chat is big on award shows. Didn't mean to insult my, uh, my audience right there, man. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. It's okay, Loco, just don't do it again. Thank you, dude. Thank you for being so forgiving. Uh, yeah, fill this in too, if possible, of course. I mean... There we go. Any Brits in the chat? What do you guys think about beans on toast? Grated cheese or no? Uh, beans on toast means beans on toast. No cheese. There's just, it's beans and then there's toast. There's no grated cheese. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot about those square sausages that you have in the UK. What are those called again? Those breakfast sausages? They're square, no? Beans in the morning are actually kind of OP. Beans in general are kind of OP. I don't nearly eat enough beans. And in the UK, they do have those... Um, they do have that sorted at the very least. No, no, no. Maybe I'm thinking of a, of a wrong thing. Um, 
Lauren sausage? Is that what I'm thinking of? Oh, it's a Scottish thing. Okay. Well, last time I checked, that's in, you know, the UK. So I think that, that counts. Mm -mm -mm. Here you go. Oh, God. You just you just shared the least appetizing picture I've ever seen in my life, Muktivus. This, this, okay. If you're eating right now, look away. Is this a picture you took? Like, this could not look nastier. If that was taken with better lighting and not, you know, up close like that, it could look really quite good, I think. But, yeah, no. <laughs> that kind of looks like somebody vomited on a piece of toast. Yeah. Also, there's green in your bread. Why is your bread green? I don't think it's supposed to be green, man. British cuisine at its finest. Can I, uh, make an explosion happen right over here? Boom! Oh. Magical water has just appeared. I think this is deep water, too. It's not deep water. Can I do a, a double boom? You think if I boom it again, it'll, it'll be deep water. Hmm. It's still not deep water, guys. Well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of what I just did. Noise! And I can only go back one step. You know what? I might be in the minority here, guys, but I actually do like British breakfast. The best thing about British breakfast is that if you have like a full, proper British breakfast, you're ready for a nap. And it's like 9 in the morning. <laughs> Genuinely. Full English breakfast? I like it, yeah. Never in my life have I ever made beans for breakfast, but if, I've, if I'm ever at a hotel, and like they have like beans and like, you know, they have the whole thing, you know, like a breakfast buffet. I will usually get some beans, but I don't think I've ever... I don't know. I, I don't know. Why am I not eating beans for breakfast over here? I have no idea. I've never even thought about it. Maybe I should. No more food needed for the rest of the day. Exactly, man. Just a casual like 1200 calories for breakfast or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, I think if you do the whole sausage and and like you know uh, beans and and bacon and 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 you know hash browns, you do the whole thing, right? Eggs. I'm fairly sure you'll easily reach 1,200 calories. Yeah. Dude, this looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah. But that is definitely 1,200 calories. That is, that is certainly more than 1,200 calories. <laughs> There's no beans in this one, though. Dude, this does not really look like a breakfast portion, though, right? Am I crazy? Also, you, you bought beans without... Like, this is just beans? We're supposed- Ew, runny eggs? Oh my god. Wait, that, that should be an unmoddable offense right there. Making fun of runny eggs? We should immediately unmod Wayman. Runny eggs are by far the best way to eat eggs. What are you talking about? <laughs> In restaurants, this is a normal portion? In the UK? Really, Shadow Winds. If you go to an English breakfast place, this is a normal portion? In the north? Yeah? Oh, okay. In Canada. Okay, okay. This, is, this seems like a lot of food to me, but... 
Ah, maybe it's not too bad. It kind of depends, right? If that's two eggs, that's like one slice of bread sliced in half. Ah, this is okay. A better version of a full English breakfast? Yeah, no, that, that is getting into a... Uh, that that's a big plate. <laughs> That is, uh, that's a lot of food, man. There's like half a pig right there. That seems a bit much. This, this seems more like a breakfast portion for like a, a family of four. <laughs> Tomatoes are an utter, yeah, another over, or underrated food, rather. Like, I don't usually eat potato, or tomatoes. Well, tomatoes and potatoes, for what it's worth, but... Don't really have either of those for breakfast, usually. But they are pretty nice. Like, what do you eat? I don't eat breakfast. <laughs> Unironically, I don't actually eat breakfast most of the time. But still! My point still stands. I remember the days I used to eat breakfast. Okay, I can sympathize. Coffee? Yeah. No, I do make- I do eat breakfast on Sundays, but usually breakfast on Sundays is like at like 11 or whatever. So it barely counts as Sundays. Or as morning, I guess. Or breakfast. Yeah, 11 is lunch? I don't know. Why eat breakfast on weekends when you can just sleep in? I'm old, bro. I don't do this thing called sleeping in. I wake up at like 7.30 at latest on Sundays. You know what I do at 7.30 on, on Sundays? Play RuneScape for like three hours. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Okay. It's really chill, chat. You should give it a try. Can I... Maybe I should be putting these things down first. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I need areas where I can uh, put down... More of those. Can you blow up the whole building? I can only be placing them in deep water, but it's going to be really difficult to reach this part of the... <sighs> do I work out? I do try to work out. Usually... Like six days? Some form of exercise. Because I sit on my ass all day. Minimum of four days. I've been doing cardio recently. Which I usually never did, but I, uh, I've been doing cardio more consistently for like... Two or three months. So I've been doing that on like, days that I don't go to the gym, which is kind of nice. No, I don't do... Uh, I, I go to the gym like three days a week these days. Oh, I can recycle the skyscrapers? Oh, I can recycle the skyscrapers. That might actually be kind of nice. Is that the skyscraper I'm getting money for, though? Oh, it is. Okay. That's good. 
Is it what's exercise? Yeah, it's a European thing. Don't worry about it. What's going on? That blonde one. Welcome. Sup, chat. I'm getting all my windows replaced and it costs as much as the corn de fosh 1955. Oh, it's a watch. <laughs> really? These new windows can't even tell the time? Dang. Wait, you have to get all your windows replaced? God, that sounds expensive. Yeah, you have to call Bill Gates and everything too, man. The Windows expert. Try getting him on the line. I, I've given it a try, it's not so easy. Okay, I'll just create land and then we'll go from there. I'm playing way too slow. I guess you need to get like double layered glass everywhere, right? Minimum. I never realized how expensive a window actually is. Anything glass related is pricey as hell. Your electricity bill was $500? For a month in the winter? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how, how that, like, you know, lines up with other places where you, uh, or, or with, like, norm where you're at, but. There's no wind turbines in this map, it seems. Maybe I'll unlock them, but I don't know. So far, I have not yet. Oh, dang. Okay, I see. So you're spending four times as much on electricity than your neighbors? Yeah, that, that's definitely something you might want to look into. <laughs> that does not sound great. Uh, I want to recycle that thing up north, but I can't. Oh, because my boat can no longer get there. Fuck. Good morning and hello. What's up, Strawberry? Welcome. Okay, now my boat can definitely go up there again. Good. Millionaire Loco doesn't know what things normally cost. I mean, maybe Sysadmin is living in a huge mansion, Chet. I have no idea. Maybe he's living in a mansion. Maybe he's heating using gas. Maybe he's heating everything with electro- I don't know. I don't know the situation. Maybe he's got a thousand square meter home. Then I guess heating it for 500 euros is not too bad. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, uh, how much can like a pound of sugar cost? $20? Give or take? I'm in touch with reality. Okay. What's up, Gus? How are you? Ooh, that's a good idea. Maybe you can heat using 4090s. If you have to spend like 30 grand on heating, or sorry, isolating your home, have you considered just buying like eight 4090s instead? Those keep your... Those keep your, your, yeah, that's pretty good. A gallon of milk is $20, Loco. A gallon, lol. Gallons, lol, lol. I hear, okay, yeah, 4090s are pretty sick, man. Really good at uh, temperature. Crypto mining? Dude, crypto mining to warm up your house. You're heating your room with an uh, your room rotter with an aquarium heater, 25 degrees Celsius. Nice, dude. Mm. 
So I can't reach that part, guys. This is a real issue. I don't even see how I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm playing very slowly because I don't want to address problems I've created myself. Smart, right? I'm assuming I will get uh, more tools to deal with this, but I don't know. Okay, now we gotta spray a little bit of water. I think I'll do two sprays. I'm only at 58%. How in the world am I ever going to fill up? I, I can't get electricity over there, can I? Okay, I can do a cloud seeder. Use surrounding water and ocean to encourage cloud formation. Maybe that'll do it. I can burn stuff. I can dehumidify and I can make things colder again. Okay, when is it going to rain? Okay. It doesn't say anything about rain. So if it's not going to rain, I don't see what I'm going to do. I guess I can place one more down over here and try to create some more land over in this area. Okay. Is Loco giving out financial advice? Always. No, that doesn't sound like a very good plan. I don't think you want to be taking your financial advice from people on the internet. More specifically, live streamers. Or, or maybe you do, I don't know. Okay. Oh shit, wait, can I? Ah, uh, I can plant it over there, but not over here. Isn't this all connected? I guess it's not deep enough? Hmm. Problem is, over here there's like no space. That's probably why I need to dredge a little bit more. Okay. We'll put down another dredger. Okay, is it gonna have to go all the way across? Fantastic, it's gonna take a while, but eventually it'll get here, I guess. That's a good point, do you think a dredger leaves behind? I think it's actually GG, guys. Does the dredger leave behind um, a spot for the tidal turbine to go? Yeah, I, 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 this is GG. I should probably just restart this region. Just do it again. Is that what the helper said at the start? I see. So I didn't realize what the importance of deep water was at that point, so I, I never, yeah. I never bothered. Oh god, it's entirely different now. Oh, so now I actually start with having these tidal turbines already unlocked. So I can plan ahead a little bit more, okay. So 
So there's currently no place for me to put those tidal turbines over there. But I wonder what happens if I put a dredger over in this location. This is so much harder, dude. Holy crap. Because um, if I, if I like, dig up a couple different locations over here... Can I salvage this? Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, I guess I'll do it in a moment. Actually, no, I should I should start with salvaging right at the very beginning. Because that is just gonna destroy all of my own stuff if I'm not uh, careful. Yep, we'll begin with salvaging all of these structures, and then we'll go from there. Get some extra cash, it's not bad. Okay, so currently we don't have any deep water over here in the top left, or over there in the top right. So if I put a dredger down over here, and a dredger over here, I think these would both be pretty good locations for one of those... Yeah, one of those things. So this is a good location for one. This is a pretty good one. I like this spot over here too. I would like... I don't know, some more land. Somewhere in this spot. Oh, I... No, no, no. You can, you can definitely go above a thousand. I think I did get additional cash. I was just a little quick to put down uh, other things. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the timing, I've noticed that as well, sometimes the timing before this number changes is a bit funky. Okay, I think this is a good spot. And over here, I also want to create some land. Okay. So these things are now completely uh, finished. So I want to salvage this one up here. And I want to salvage the same thing over here in the bottom as well. Okay. Actually, no. Because now I'm also salvaging one of my uh, monorail nodes, which I don't think I want to do. Um, just like that, okay. So now it does, I think, leave enough space behind. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So that's the meme. Okay, so this does leave space behind for me to actually... ...make more livable terrain. I see. Okay. Gotta put another dredger down? I think over here would be a good spot. Over here. We gotta sort of plan where we're gonna be putting our power. I also wanna have some more over here eventually, I guess, but... Okay, connecting that into the, into the rest of the network. Can I put a dredger down over here somewhere too? Yeah. Bit of a tricky spot, but I think we're okay. 69% geological stability. Yeah. Pretty good, dude. That is kind of nice. Okay. It's already gone down. Nah, sorry. It's already gone down, man. I ruined it.
Okay, so this one is now already salvageable as well. I think that's good. I still need to make sure that I can actually salvage this thing too. I'm assuming that at some point I'm not just going to be forced on salvaging everything with that little boat. Uh, is that going to be the meme on this map? I don't know. If I'm going to have to salvage everything in the end with this little boat by having canals everywhere, I did not plan for that in advance. Okay, if that's something that happens in the end, uh, don't get upset at me. Um, the game didn't tell me. Let's go down to MCU. Thank you for the 56. Maybe it did tell me and I didn't know. I don't know. Yeah, so already I can't actually get over here. Too late, Loco. Already upset. That's reasonable. I'll use some bombs. Bombs bombs solve a lot of problems. We can make rivers using bombs. That's true, Count Nazgul, yeah. But believe it or not, even though I'm Dutch, it doesn't just genetically happen. I, I don't actually know anything about uh, engineering and creating land and all that. I don't even know how to make a porter. I have no clue. My parents did not teach me that when I was a kid. You have it in you, Loco, you just need to believe. Yeah? Thank you, guys. That's very motivational. I, uh, I appreciate that. Maybe I'm, yeah, maybe I'm adopted. Could be. Okay. Good amount of space over here. One more over here would be really sweet too. Is a good spot. So this is now a location. This is another location. There's another one over here too. I think I'll get started now with yeah, actually building some things because otherwise the game's gonna shout at me. I should have a whole lot more terrain this time around, so that's good. Okay. Don't shout at me, please, video game. That's going to give me a hundred dollars. That's not a good one. We'll go with that one. 99. Loco, if you're not Dutch and you can choose whatever nationality you would like to be, what would you like to be? Of course I would want to be an American. That would be at the top of my list. <laughs> of course. Is there even an alternative? You've got chills, right? Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. I don't know, Cardigan. If I wasn't Dutch and I could choose whatever nationality I would want to be... Let's see. Most powerful passports in the world. Whatever comes at the top of the list... Um... Japan? South Korea, Singapore, Germany, Spain, Finland, Italy, Luxembourg, Austria, Denmark, Netherlands, Sweden, Belgium. Ugh. Ugh. Definitely not Belgium, guys. No. The US? Oh my god, the US is in the same rank as Belgium? Yikes. Sorry about that, guys. 
Also, get wrecked. Oh, Germany is doing pretty well over here, dude. <laughs> Japan? Hmm. I think usually they classify as most powerful, as in like easiest to travel with. In 2023, Japanese passport holders can visit 193 out of 227 destinations visa-free, which is 85% of the world. Okay. I don't know how accurate it is, but... <laughs> Japanese passport equals transformer? Is that how it works? I remember watching... Um, this YouTube channel, like, five plus years ago. Um, this guy was, like, traveling the world, and at some point he got a girlfriend in South Africa. So he was from the UK himself, he was English. And he got a girlfriend in South Africa. And then for a while, they traveled the world together, right? And they made these, like, vlogs and stuff. I liked watching them. Anyways, I remember that basically 50% of every vlog, whenever they, like, entered a new country, was always bullshit with her not being able to enter the country just because of a visa or a passport or whatever issue. And he, with a UK passport, could basically just go anywhere. It's actually total bullshit, man. It's actually really stupid. Um, yeah, it, it kind of just depends on where you're born and, uh, yeah, roll the dice. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. GG, that's it. Kind of sucks. You're experiencing the same thing with your Indonesian girlfriend? Okay, yeah. You had a South African passport, Australia now, it's much easier? Okay, yeah. It's just RNG, man. There's this other YouTube channel that some of you might be familiar with called Yes Theory. Um, I thought that was kind of an interesting story. They make some pretty cool videos. I always, uh, I don't know, they're pretty fun to watch. Um. These guys, these guys are like a bunch of dudes that like create content around the world. But one of the lads is, I think, born in Egypt. And I think with an Egyptian passport, he had all kinds of trouble because he could never go home. Because I think if he decided to go, go back to Egypt, he would probably get put in the army or whatever. Anyways, um, ah, it's this one. Yeah, no, it's that's not the video. Anyways, this guy... On the thumbnail with the, the, the pink hat. Apparently bought citizenship into another country. Apparently there's some sort of um, island out there. I think it's somewhere... I don't know exactly. Anyways, it's some sort of uh, tropical island. Where you can become a citizen. You just have to spend X amount of money in order to become a citizen. And then you can get a passport. Apparently that's what wealthy people do. Um, if they... Um, have trouble traveling? Yeah, so you just can become a citizen by either owning land or, or spending money or whatever. Yeah, it's pay to win in real life. Literally. It's kind of wild. Cyprus did this as well. Yeah. I think... I don't know exactly how much it was, but I think it was like $100,000. So they basically put money together and then... Yeah, I don't know. And now, apparently, he can travel easily. Yeah. So, it's, it's, yeah, it's a bit silly, but... There's easier ones, too? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, if you have two passports, I guess it makes things easier, too. But, um... Yeah, passports are such... I don't know, they're so random. Just happens where you're born, right? Like, it... <laughs> it's literally the only thing. It just... It's just determined by, you know, where you're born. That's it. Your spawn location IRO is full RNG. But it determines a lot. It's kind of unfair, man. You got a British passport? Trip to England was easy. Returning, not so much. I see. I have never had any issues with a Dutch passport. It's been, uh, honestly, smooth sailing. But maybe at some point it'll, uh, it'll be a problem. I don't know.
Um, I think I should have enough land now, by the way, in the game, too. Do the UKers need a visa now to travel to Europe? Uh, you don't need a visa, but you do have to stand in line every time. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I know quite a few people from the UK that travel quite a bit, and apparently a problem you run into right now is that your pages on your passport are filled out before the time period of your passport is actually up. Apparently this is a proper first world problem, but anytime you leave the UK, they're gonna stamp your passport. Whereas in the past, they'd be like, oh yeah, okay, fine, whatever. So any any connecting flight within the European Union now, you always have to get a, an extra stamp in your passport. And apparently it actually just fills out the pages really quick. Yeah, you can apparently get extensions where you get like a thicker passport or whatever. Anyways. Yeah, it also just slows things down, though. If you travel a lot from the UK, um, you basically have to wait in line everywhere. Obviously, now sometimes you get lucky and there's no line, but... But it also is very different from country to country. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh, if you move to the Netherlands? Yeah, I don't really know how that works. I think one of the life hacks people generally use for passports is getting married. <laughs> that, that seems to be the life hack. Then suddenly, you're like, oh, you're one of us! Perfect. That that seems to be one of the, the gamer moves. But yeah, I don't know. You gotta get married. Um, don't know if you necessarily want to do that for a passport, but... Dude, this map's real hard. I thought I was doing really well, but I'm only at 70-something percent here at best. Not even. Okay. How do you meet people not in your country? <laughs> Mate, there's a lot of people in the chat right now that are not in your country. <laughs> like literally you're talking to people right now not in your country. The chat is full of foreigners. <laughs> Most people are probably foreigners. It depends on where you're from, but... I don't think there's an overwhelming uh, portion of people from one country in the chat right now, no. Okay, gotta do a little bit more dredging over here. But anyways, I'm not an expert on any of these things though, so don't quote me on it, but it uh, definitely does seem a bit of a meme. And it does seem a bit paid to win too. Okay. Salvage this one. IRL is definitely paid to win. For sure. Spawn location of IRL is OP. Just a roll of the die, man. Okay. 
I guess I'll put one over here as well. Just to fill in uh, a little bit over here too. Okay, now I gotta water this area. I don't know if this is gonna cut it. Just get a high paying job? Okay. <laughs> is that your solution? If you have if you don't have enough money, just make more money? Is that that was your solution? I don't think that's a very good solution, man. Just don't be poor. Yeah, if you're homeless, just buy a house. <laughs> That's like the sleep faster advice, yeah. <laughs> just have rich parents. <laughs> That's crazy. You haven't heard sleep faster? <laughs> Mate, this is one of my favorite clips. This is advice from Arnold. Arnold has a lot of great advice. But the sleep faster advice is... Insane. Where is it? Oh god, it's a YouTube short? Okay, fine. We'll just listen to it. We sleep six hours a day, so it gives you still 18 hours. So there's someone shaking their head out here in front to say probably, I don't sleep six hours, I sleep eight hours, right? Or just sleep faster. And it's very important. <laughs> well, just sleep faster. No, it's not taken out of context. There, he gives the full context. Just, just sleep faster. That's such bad advice. I don't think it's a joke. I'm not sure, but maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's a little bit of uh, humor in there. I'm not exactly sure, but... I don't think sleeping faster is gonna help anybody. But basically, he says like, hey, if you sleep eight hours or eight hours a day and I sleep six, that means I have 18 hours a day to get stuff done and you only have 16. Therefore, I will win in the long run. Like, all right, Arnold. Great advice. Brilliant stuff. Hustle culture is incredibly toxic. Yes. And for every Arnold, there's uh, probably about a, a million uh, guys that just, you know, aren't Arnold. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks, man. You try your best, you sleep six hours a day. Turns out you're not Arnold. Huh? You don't even have, you know, S-tier genetics. Not even S-tier genetics. Better than S-tier genetics. Insane. Okay, um, so I don't think I can salvage this, can I? My little boat guy can't get over there. Now I can use bombs, but that's gonna destroy some of the land as well. Okay, fine, I'll use bombs, because I think I have to salvage everything eventually. Is there a little path over here? Yeah, yeah, there is. Don't destroy so much. I don't think you salvage using the monorail. I'm pretty sure in this in this run you're gonna have to salvage using uh, the little boat. Fairly sure. There's a different salvage mechanic in every single one of them, and in this one you start off with a boat in the center. I don't know though, so maybe this is... Yeah, maybe we use the monorail for salvaging eventually, but... That would make things easier, that's for sure. Okay. 
Okay, 87%, we're nearly there. Dude, this map is hard. I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it, but... 98%! Oh, come on! Can I do... Can, can I... Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. This is easy, easy 100. Big bada-boom. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Perfect. 104%. That was one out of three. Arnold got some pretty good RNG. Yeah, man. Arnold's chest has basically still not been surpassed. That guy, uh... Absolute tank. Anyways, dredging may have made the ground unstable. Nevertheless, increase biodiversity by creating enclosed lagoons and bamboo groves in the shells of skyscrapers. Use the roots of new deciduous forests to break down concrete. Oh shit, okay, that sounds fun. I wish I could save at this point, but I don't think that's possible. No. Oh, you can restart the face, actually. Okay, that is, okay, that's cool. 